Okay. Is there anything I could do <laughs> to make... No, I just really want to punch in the yeah, face. Yeah, really, really. <clears throat> Fifth Ward, Oshkosh. 2017. 2017. 2017. All right. Chocolate and coffee. Okay. Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Milwaukee Beer Review. As always, I'm Josh. I'm Ross. And today we are diving into a brand new brewery for the <coughs> channel. So we are going to try a couple of barrel-aged releases from a little brewery out of Oshkosh, Wisconsin, called Fifth Ward. So the story behind these two beers actually is last summer. I think you were on vacation. I can't yes. remember where you were. Our our wonderful. Uh, friends who have been on the channel, um, uh, Frank and Amber, were actually doing kind of a little bit of a brewery tour around Wisconsin, and they picked these two up for me while they were there, and they've been kind of sitting in the cellar. Yeah. Um, I'm a little nervous about them, though. Yeah, we've heard some things. Uh, we've constantly seen people chatting on this one. We both are cellaring these, and we've kind of heard some that some people are saying they may have gone a little bad. They kind of got a little bit of a sour taste to it. I'm not... It's... For clarification, not these two specifically. So yeah. the morning job and the chocolate <laughs> job that we're about to try, I haven't seen them specifically, but I've seen other barrel-aged beers that folks have aged that yeah. have not turned out well. So I'm hoping that that's not the case with yeah, these two. Yeah, th these are two I think we've looked forward to for a while we've kind yeah. of been sitting on them just not really had a chance to do that yet but once you mm -hmm. kind of start hearing that i figured now's as good a time as any and pop these open so. yeah so we're going to dive right into these things today you saw us pour <coughs> these out the first one we're going to try is the chocolate job so this one comes in at a whopping 13.2 percent abv um this is a barrel aged stout with cocoa nibs and liquid cocoa oh. so which is kind of interesting i'm guessing like hershey's syrup syrup However we pronounce that, we've tried many times. Syrup. We don't know. Um, and I'm very curious. I, I do like chocolate stouts. Sometimes they can get a little crazy. Yeah. I'm curious what we end up with here. So let's get a little nose on this yeah. thing. I'm excited for these because it's a new brewery, something I don't know much about. So I'm, I'm curious what these are going to be like. Hmm. I'm definitely getting some chocolate. I mean, it's not yeah. like fudgy in your face chocolate. If it's there, mm -hmm. um, slight bitterness to it. It's not strong chocolate. I'm definitely getting the barrel. I'm getting some of the barrel aging that happened on this. I'm assuming bourbon. Yeah, that's one thing we need to find out. We're going to look into. We don't know exactly what barrels they use. It smells I, like bourbon. Unless it's distinguished, I always just assume it's bourbon. Yeah, I, I think I, I think anytime it's whiskey or brandy or gin or anything else, I always kind of say. If yeah. it just says bourbon and barrel, I just assume bourbon. Agreed. I think that's a fair assumption on this. There's some, like, floaties going on in here, though. I don't know if you see that. Yeah, I don't have... Mine, which is weird because I poured yours first. And normally you'd think you get them in, yeah. I guess if they're floating though, it would be the first pour. That makes me a little bit nervous, yeah. but I yeah. guess um, I guess we'll see. It, I mean, the nose on this is there's 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 a bit of a bourbon character, there's a bit of a chocolate character. Neither 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 adjunct though on the nose is extremely prominent yeah, though. I would it's, agree. It's, it's a pretty light nose. Yeah, it's not an overly thick beer. When I was pouring, I was actually kind of surprised how kind of it was a little thinner than I was expecting. Yeah, but. Well, all right. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Cheers. Nope. No. Nope. Not good. No. That's gone sour. It has definitely That's not aged well. That's unfortunate. Um, this is not a knock on. I mean, we can't knock the beer at all because it's just gone sour. That's a. Ugh. Yeah, no. Um, major astringent, major sour character yeah. out the back end of this. This is not what this would have tasted like. I think I got these six months ago, so they've been aging in the cellar for about six months. If you're saying we were gone on a trip, there's a better chance I was in May. Yeah, it could be May. That that may be correct. Because I think it was when we were yeah out of town. So, But, I mean, we're not even talking a year. 
And these things have gone south. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just kind of what happens sometimes when you sell a beer. You sell enough beer, you can come across things that either it's stuff that's not supposed to be sold, mm. you didn't mean to, or just things that sometimes things happen, and it just mm -hmm. you know. I, uh, and I, I know where you sell your beer. I know it's in a spot that it's good for selling beer. There's no light. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. It's a good place to sell our beer. This is sad. It's unfortunate. It's um, unfortunate. Um, I don't think we can even give it a rating. No, no, you can't. This is this is not. I, I, this is we're gonna have to have to redo Fifth Ward. Yeah, for sure. Um, so it's unfortunate because I again Ugh. this is one we were looking forward to. And it's just. Um, I was worried about this. We said we got to get them on the channel yeah. quick because I was hoping that these were still going to be fine. Yeah. But unfortunately, yeah. it seems to have gone the same way as some of the ones we've seen. Well, I might as well chug four. Maybe the second one will have a little bit better luck. I'm not... The second one looks better to me. Yeah. At I'm least just in the glass. I'm not seeing anything weird. So what is this? Yeah. So this one is the morning job. Um, so this is a barrel aged with maple What's a morning syrup? job? <laughs> Trying to get past it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the name before I turned it around. It's, um, it's a barrel egg maple stout with coffee. This one actually comes in at a whopping 14.8%. That's a big um, beer. It's a big beer. Um, so, I mean, we've had maple stouts in the past. We've had some you know, coffee stouts. I, you know, we'll see what we get. So. I hope that's good. It sounds like it's going to be yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. So it probably was fresh. Yeah. So, let's get a little nose on this one. Ooh, that smells better. It smells better. There's definitely some coffee there. Yeah, definitely getting coffee. Coffee's the prominent note on the nose. Yeah, I'm trying to find like a maple or sweetness. And I'm not really getting any of that. I'm just getting coffee. I am getting a little bit of a sour astringent kind of it character like, on the nose. Like, it almost smells burnt. Uh, that might be the barrels, though. That could be okay. the oak. But, all right, well. Yeah, I mean, there's coffee. I'm not getting a strong maple syrup flavor, but I'm... It, this beer looks a lot better than the one I just tried. Yeah. So I'm hoping we get some success here. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Unfortunately. Also sour. Yeah. The coffee's Ouch. definitely like I'll I'll say this. The coffee's definitely there still. There's definitely that coffeeness taste to it. Um, and when I get of the coffee before I get any of that sourness. I do enjoy, but it's so quick and so faint that it's not its not fair to even judge again. Like we did the last one. There's just nothing to judge on this one. There's not. You can't judge it. So Both of these went bad. That's really unfortunate with these 22-ounce bombers, too. That's really <coughs> yeah. not great. I mean, to people who are selling beer or just starting to sell the beer, this is kind of a cautionary tale. Like, it's going to yeah. happen. This is not the first beer we've had that have gone sour. Actually, I think Molly and I were just drinking a beer a couple weeks ago. And we took a few sips, like, this isn't right. It's just, it's something was off with it. And it yep. just, it was something that maybe we had sitting around for a little bit too long. It just happens. Yeah. You know, it's unfortunate. Um, I had the peanut butter stout from 2019 from Big Bad Baptist. Mm -hmm. epic. Um, the epic, epic brewing ones, but they're the Big Bad Baptist variants. Yeah. The peanut butter one was not good. Both bottles I had, not good. Yeah. So, this is sad. It's unfortunate. It's, it's unfortunate. Um, you know, I'd be curious to hear what Fifth Ward thinks. I mean, you know. Should these be aged? Can they be aged? Yeah. What do we think went wrong in the process here? Because there's not that much going on in these beers that I would have been concerned. Mm -hmm. So I agree. Um, we definitely owe Fifth Ward a second show. We For definitely sure. owe some fresh beers. We'll definitely make that happen. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, this is one where we just can't really give these any sort of grades or tasting notes or anything. It's just they've. Yeah. Gone bad. Sometimes you end up with a sink beer, <coughs> and that's what these are going to be. Exactly. So. so. Um, well, unfortunately, folks, uh, this happens. This is the first time it's happened actually on this channel. Yeah. We've been going for a year now. We have not had one happen yet live or live, well, during a video shoot. Um, but, hey, it finally happened. Um, it's unfortunate. Stick around for more videos. We've got lots more where this came from. You can find us on the rest of our social media channels. We're on Facebook, Untapped on Twitter, on Instagram, and here on YouTube. So like, comment, subscribe, smash that like button, and we'll see you in a future episode. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.